Out front tonight, the former president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili. Uh, good to have you with me, Mr. President. I know that you knew Boris Nemtsov. You knew him well. As a matter of fact, you saw him a week ago. You dined with him. You were having yeah. a glass of wine together, and, and you talked about this issue of poison. Yeah, actually, actually, I mentioned it. We had. Uh, the, I'm really shocked because we 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 had lunch with him to, uh, together last week, and uh, uh, and I asked whether he was scared to go back to Russia, and he told me, well, he shouldn't be, wouldn't be scared of the arrest because Putin would not arrest former uh, high level government officials. But then I mentioned to him that the glass, uh, you know, glass of red wine he was holding in the hand might have been more dangerous for him than the arrest. And he seemed to agree. And indeed, uh, uh, I'm not surprised at all, unfortunately, that he was killed. I'm surprised he was not killed until now. And because the whole climate, you are you are dealing here with a mafia state run by Fox, and the, the whole climate existing there uh, makes it almost impossible for people like Lemzo to walk around freely and to walk around their life, unfortunately. Is there any question in your mind about who did this? I mean, Vladimir Putin has come out, right, formally condemning the murder, saying there's going to be an investigation, uh, saying it was a contract killing, implying obviously done by someone else. Uh, who do you think is responsible? Well, look, uh, we, we we discussed with Boris because he came to Kiev and he was um, mentioning he wanted to, he wanted to meet me because he was preparing um, his position on Ukraine and he really wanted to reach out to the Russian public and tell them the truth about what was happening in Ukraine. He was telling me about some Russians that were doing this job together with him, um, and uh, you know I'm based I'm 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 head of the Council for uh, Ukraine's president, so he was interested in the position of uh, Ukrainian government and the more information about what was really happening. Uh, and um, and then uh, actually he was also looking forward to the march that they were having they were holding uh, basically tomorrow and he was very a bit about this march now whether mm -hmm. you, I, I cannot blame I cannot blame anybody in concretely but one thing is very clear the climate of intimidation fear um, this violence the, the your correspondent just spoke about the fact that killers are being promoted in Russia nobody was punished for Yushchenko uh, you know they this guy who killed Litvinenko was promoted to become a high-level uh, parliamentary official in Russia. Mm -hmm. There is this climate where these kind of things are made possible. That's what mafia state is all about. You you reward your hitman. You make this atmosphere you uh, int intimidation as your main weapon, and that's unfortunately what's happening inside Russia and what's also is projected outside Russia. All right, well, President Saakashvili, thank you very much. Uh, pretty incredible when you tell that story and of that chilling moment with the, with a glass of wine. I mean, really shocked. I'm really shocked, and my yeah. condol condolences to all progressive Russians because look what they've done to this great country of Russia with very well educated people, and unfortunately they yeah. put it into misery. It reminds me of Milosevic, and I think Putin came with violence, rules with violence, and we'll end in, in violence in the end. But the world should be careful, and all of us should be very careful with this guy out there, and be also react to what's happening.